An update now on breaking news we've been following since just before 10 this morning. Firefighters and paramedics have been at the scene of a trench rescue for most of the day. It's near 132nd in Dodge. We are told a man was trapped up to his knees after the ground caved in while doing sewer work. The rescue mission now in its sixth hour. 3 News Now reporter Megan Hahn has been at the scene since the call went out. She joins us now live with the latest. Megan? That's right, Jen. It's been going on for six hours now. The rescue crews with o Omaha Fire Department have out been out here working to remove the 23-year-old worker from the trench that collapsed around him, moving out of the way so you can get a good close-up look at what's going on here right now. The battalion chief on scene tells us the man was doing utility work when the hole collapsed around him, burying him in dirt up to his knees. Luckily, the man seems to be okay, and he's been speaking with rescue crews throughout the day. Now we can um, see his socks, so that is promising. We're getting uh, a lot of the extra dirt removed, but his one foot is still really compacted. Um, in that dirt. So we're trying to loosen that dirt around his foot to try to get a little bit of movement. Emergency crews have removed most of the dirt and uncovered the man's feet, and that was around 1 p.m. They say it's been a slow, long going process, a painstaking process to ensure that the hole doesn't collapse further. The Italian chief says they've also been putting oxygen down into the hole to make sure that O2 levels. Um, remain steady for the man. They also say that the temperature inside the hole is actually warmer than the outside air. Reporting live, I'm Megan Hahn, 3 News Now. A tedious process for sure. 3 News Now reporter Maya Signs is also at the scene. She has reaction from another local company and MUD about this rescue operation. Maya, what are you learning? Yep, Jen, Omaha Fire has been working here for several hours, but one man who's working with Mi Midland Trenching says they could have helped get that man out hours ago. Gary Christensen works for Midland Trenching. He says his company and MUD have been on site with several trucks for hours offering their services to Omaha Fire. However, Christensen says MUD foreman brought suction trucks that could help get that dirt out around that man that which would help get him out. They said that they did offer their services to Omaha Fire, but that they refused. He says they're going to stay on standby on location until they can get that man out just in case Omaha Fire decide to change their mind and use their services. The man that we spoke to said that he spoke to the man's family. He said the family hugged him and asked him to please stand by just in case Omaha Fire decided to use their services. Reporting live, Maya Signs, 3 News Now.